Welcome guys to Techonics. My name is Gaurav and today in this video we going to learn how to set up this tiny touch display with a Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Welcome back guys to another video. So today we are going to set up this 3.5 inch LCD display with the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's get started. So in the box we get a 3.5 inch touch display with a GPI interface and then we also got a tiny pen which you going to not use at all. So let's keep it aside. So let's talk about the display. So this is a 3.5 inch display for the Raspberry Pi. We have a GPI header pins here. and this have a 280 by 320 pixel resolution with the XPT 2046 touch controller so this display come with a GPI interface not with the HDMI one so it's have a low refresh rate so this tiny 3.5 inch touch display work with all the raspberry pi variants whether you are having raspberry pi 4 raspberry pi 3b or the 3 and even the raspberry pi 0 I also try this display with the Banana Pi single board computers and it's work really well. And you can also try with other single board computers out there, but it's mainly for the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi 4 4G variant for this video. Uh, the steps for the installing the display driver and other things are same for all the models, whether you are using any Raspberry Pi. Few things we need to remember for this display. This display comes with only 480 by 320 pixels, so it's not that high resolution. And second thing, this display work over a GPI pin, so we don't get higher refresh rate or even the good refresh rate. I would say. So if you are planning to do watch a video on it, it would play, but not at a smooth rate. So remember that point as we don't have the HDMI interface out there. As all the operations are work with the GPI, whether you are going to touch or the display output, it's take it using the GPI pin. Uh, if you want a good resolution with the high refresh rate compared to this one. then we also have some other models of display like this one from the wave share as you can see we here we have here we have a display with the hdmi interface which is going a higher refresh rate and a good performance but we're going to talk about this in an other video so stay tuned to the channel we are going to coming up with the setup video of this one it's really good if you have a budget to go with it else let's back to the topic again so first we need to plug the lcd with the raspberry pi like this from the here and here yeah that's the thing and that's the part of the hardware and we are done it and now we need to install the drivers for this display to work if we power it up right now we just see a backlit display on but nothing display as we need to install the drivers for the touch as well as the display to work with this display so let's plug in the hdmi cable and start installing the driver So if you are planning to use the display with the Raspberry Pi Zero, then the hardware part is also same. You just need to plug in the GPIO from right this side, like this one. And here you have a tiny setup. So after powering the Raspberry Pi, just go to this link. The link is as always in the description below. I will also post a full detail article on my website, so you can check that out as well. So here we have a Wikipedia page of this LCD. You can find all the details about this display on this page. So first we need to install the driver for the LCD, and then we need to activate it. So here are the commands to download and activate the driver for the LCD one. Here, as you can see, this command downloading the driver from the GitHub repository, and then we are activating that. Uh, and then here if your touch is not working properly then you can use this command to calibrate your touch screen as well so, and if you want to rotate your display after installing the first step you can use this command to rotate your display so let's just install first of all copy all this you can and now just open a terminal here control shift and p and just hit enter now it's downloading from the github
So after the reboot, now the display will come over to this LCD and the HDMI port will not work right now. So as you can see, it's working really great. And also, we are you able to use the touch functionality. Although the touch is not that good, but still it's usable. Try to open terminal. Yeah, it's working great. Let's cancel it out. So it's working really great. We can also use uh, this tiny pencil that we get with the display. Here you can see we are ready with our tiny setup with a tiny pocket size computer. You can just go ahead with a power bank to power this up and it's a totally portable PC. So after this setup, the HDMI output will not work. So if you want to use your HDMI output again, then you have to enter some commands again. Let me show you that. So here are the command that you need to enter to back on the HDMI interface. Just enter this command and hit enter. After reboot, you are able to use your HDMI output. Here, as you can see, we are running a YouTube video. You can see it's not that smooth because it's using, it's working on a GPIO interface, not on the HDMI one. If you want to use this kind of display for the video playback, then I would recommend to go with the HDMI interface. Uh, I will coming up with that video as well soon on the channel. So stay tuned for that. So here, as you can see, it's playing the YouTube video, but as you can see, it's shuttering a lot as it has a lower refresh rate over a GPIO one. So hope you guys like this video. If you have any question, then do let me know in the comment section below. Check out the link in the description for detailed and step-by-step -step guide of the setup on our website. In the next one, we are coming up with this WaveShare HDMI 3.5 inch display with a high resolution and good of refresh rate. And in the other part, we are also covering the five inch display with the HDMI interface and GPIO. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to Tachyonics and I will see you in the next one.